Hi guys, this is Mehul Mehtan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to focus on the issues that are faced by graduate students in quantitative finance, uh, specifically in United States. Um, see, like, uh, to be honest with you, there are two two major issues that most of the students uh, they face uh, they face in this in the field of quant finance. The first is they are not able to get interview calls, and this is like majority of the students that reach out to me on linkedin they say that you know hey mehul even though you know i have reshaped my resume and i have reshaped my resume in the us template and stuff like that you know i've added projects and i also have like two to three years of working experience but still i'm i'm not able to get any interview calls so like this is the first issue second issue is like people are not able to convert the interviews even if they reach out you know they reach till the end of you know until the final round still they are not able to convert the interview so i'll address you know the the issues one by one the first thing if you're not able to get interview calls this is mostly because of your resume even i've seen like you know don't think like it's your working experience that 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 is the reason that you're not getting any interview calls i don't think that is the case i mostly feel that your resume is lacking something and that is the issue i'll talk about uh, you know two three examples of what i have seen and what you should do so one of the students he has done like bachelor's in electronics engineering and when i was looking at it so he was applying for a uh, all like quant based positions quant researcher quant modeler quant analyst risk analyst credit risk uh, market risk or all this quant related roles and when i saw his resume i said with this resume even if you try for next one year you will not get an interview and why is that half of your half of his resume was filled with electronics based project i mean i mean come on i mean if you are applying for a quantitative modeling role or quantitative finance role what a hiring manager or what a recruiter wants to really see is something that you have worked on in quant field right so see if you if you are someone who is who has like similar resume i'm very sure that w the first thing that you should uh, really focus on is basically making sure all your projects all your resume in your projects should be quant focused and as i said like you can have a mix of let's say option pricing project risk management project trading related projects but you know have something in your it can be also let's say fixed income modeling uh, as simple as calculating duration and convexity of the portfolio or as as simple as uh, maybe constructing yield curve using bootstrapping method or there are some statistical based methods like models like nelson siegel nelson siegel sevenson models so you can have like different all um, so this is more on the mix, uh, on the fixed income side. You can have something on derivative uh, project, like uh, basically comparing a, a let's say black shoal model with binomial tree, or let's say uh, implementing different interest rate uh, models like Vesey check, CIR, Hull White model, G2 plus plus model, or something like. Uh, you can have stochastic volatility based models like Heston local volatility model, or some time series based volatility models like Arch and Gach model. My only point is make your resume look like quant because if your projects, if you have projects which look like quant and if your experience is, you know, complete like quant pace, I mean, I'm very sure that you most likely will get an interview. So, and also one more thing which I want to highlight is make sure like your resume should have quant related keywords. So try to add something like, you know, derivatives, fixed income, duration, convexity, Greeks. And then in Greeks, you can further specify Delta, Gamma, Rho, Theta, Vega. And then um, you can add, um, basically, you can add Black Scholes model, binomial tree, put call parity. Uh, on the market risk side, you can add value at risk, expected shortfalls, stress testing, scenario analysis, um, as I said, volatility modeling, interest rate modeling. These are the keywords that are actually used by the industry in the job description. So even if you have not done any of the projects related to all this, Try to add something, you know, some keywords related to quant because most of the resumes that I see, I see, you know, they are they have in the technical keyword section, they have written, okay, they know Microsoft Office, they know bunch of programming language, Python, SQL, R, then they'll write bunch of machine learning algorithms, you know, uh, linear regression, logistic, uh, support vector machine, decision tree, random forest. But when it comes to quant or when it comes to mathematical finance or risk related, uh, 
risk related keywords they have not mentioned anything in their resume and i feel this is like the majority of the students they miss out on this specific detail that they do not add any keyword related to quant in their resume so make sure you do that and i'm very hopeful that you will sooner or later get an interview so this was to address the first issue the second issue is most of the students if you see uh, they reach uh, they are not they either get rejected in the very first round or you know or let's say they get rejected in the coming rounds the only issue that i feel is you are not well prepared i mean i understand you know saying well prepared is very easy but see i mean uh, if you see from an interviewer's perspective most of the uh, interviews based in us are resume focused right so make sure what you have written in your resume you should actually really understand that let's say if you if you have written uh, something on time series modeling let's say you have done uh, you have built a model on financial time series right so you should actually understand what is stationarity what is non stationarity what are different statistical tests used for stationarity then uh, how to convert a non stationary data into a stationary data what are the components of uh, a, a time series model then what are different time series model like ar ma arima serima um arch gach and then uh, what is the difference between acf and pac pacf stuff like this um how to evaluate the model uh, what will you do if if the model is underfitting or overfitting see this is just related to time series like this i can also tell you what is important in derivative similarly what is important in fixed income and so and so i mean same same for monte carlo or stochastic calculus but important thing is you should actually understand the concept and see understanding the concept is one thing but actually uh, telling the recruiter in a good in a good way is also very important so someone if someone ask you hey, uh, so can you tell what is greeks uh, so you should actually come up with a good definition something like greeks are risk measures that are used in options which basically tells like the sensitivity of, sensitivity of the option price with uh, different uh, variables so the variables can be time it can be volatility then it can be your um, stock underlying price stuff like this um, <laughs> i mean see the thing is um, it should be make sure like whatever you study uh you should be thorough with it if you if if they ask you let's say for fixed income if they ask you what is duration convexity what is positive convexity versus negative convexity what are different fixed income products what are the risk in different fixed income products how will you mitigate the risk in different fixed income products you should actually you should be able to tell the answers of all these questions so someone if if you are applying for quant related positions even though if you get an get an interview the main thing is you should actually focus a lot on subject matter so if you are already in your masters degree and if you are hearing me in this youtube channel or in this youtube video i'll i'll definitely say see uh, please make sure if you if your professor is making you understand any topic you understand it you should understand it thoroughly so uh, that is like my suggestion to you and make sure like uh, you you are able to come up with the definition of uh, everything and uh, you should practice a lot i feel definitely that is one thing which i will say every every student like uh, if if they ask you any formal definition of let's say any of the topics or let's say uh, if, even if i ask you hey can you tell like what is a derivatives and uh what are different types of derivatives traded in the market you should be able to come up like you know derivatives is basically a financial instrument which derives its value from the under underlying then there are different types of derivatives such as forwards futures options swaps then in options we have call option put option stuff like this if you tell the interviewer will also get impressed here because he'll know like the they will know like you know you have come prepared with uh most of the subject matters that are taught uh, with most of the subjects that are taught in your masters degree so my only suggestion is first is make sure you have good resume uh when i say good resume it, it means like you should have good projects in your resume if you feel anything is irrelevant right just short it just if you can remove it remove it but if you don't want to remove it just short it uh, and try to add bunch of at least uh, i remember when i was uh, when i was uh, submitting all this resume i had close to 5 to 6 different quant related projects uh, and over top of that i had like uh, my uh, my pwc's experience so it was a combination of both that actually helped me get a lot of internships a call and a lot of full time calls so make sure like uh, 
if you are someone who has even if you do not have any related working experience that is totally fine add bunch of projects six to seven projects quant related and mostly focus it can be focused on more uh, modeling or it can be focused on risk management or something i mean of course uh, risk management is again part of modeling but i hope you understand like it should be a mixture of risk management asset pricing or let's say building strategies and you know back testing them so i hope this interview i'm uh, sorry i hope this video might have helped you and i wish you all the best for the interview and yeah uh, if you feel uh, if you have any more questions do comment in this comment uh, youtube's comment section and i'll be more than happy to address it thank you